Hello there, I'm Fawaz and in this video we're gonna take a look at setting up a development environment for the Open Medical Record System. This will allow you to work on issues or tickets listed on the OpenMRS Jira and it will also allow you to create your own modules on top of OpenMRS 2.x. Well, let's get started. The first phase of this tutorial is to make sure to have these prerequisites installed. The first prerequisite is, ja the, is the Java Development Kit and you can download it for, from the Oracle website. So once you're in the Java SE Development Kit 8 downloads page, all you have to do is to accept the license agreement and begin your download corresponding to your operating system. You can check your Java version by going up to the terminal and typing in this command. So Java version and you should see your current uh, JDK version. So I have the Java 8 installed and to actually run the OpenMRS 2.x you need Java 8 or above. The second software is Maven and you can download this by going up to the downloads page for Apache Maven and scrolling down and you should see the binary zip archives or the binary tar.gz archive. The tar.gz archive is for Linux systems and the zip archive is for uh, Windows and Mac systems. I recommend the APT installer for Linux systems so you can do this by going up to the terminal and typing in this command to install Maven. So I've already installed Maven and you can check your Maven version by typing this command. You can see I have the Apache Maven 3.3.9 The next prerequisite is the MySQL server. So you can do, download this from the MySQL community server page and scroll down and you can choose your platform. So for example, the Microsoft Windows platform. For Linux machines, I recommend the apt installer again. So you can do this by doing a install on the MySQL server. During the installing process, you'll need to set up a root password for the root user of MySQL and it's important to remember this to initially set up the OpenMRS platform later on. You'll need to have MySQL running before you can build your OpenMRS source code. Optionally, you can download Tomcat if you want to deploy the WAR version of OpenMRS. To download Tomcat, go to the Apache Tomcat page and choose Tomcat 8 to go to the downloads page. From there you can download the installer for Windows or Mac. And for Linux systems, I recommend the apt installer by typing this command to download and install Tomcat 8. And finally we need Git, an open source version control system used by OpenMRS. We need Git to clone the OpenMRS core repository from GitHub. You'll also need Git once you are developing modules for OpenMRS. Uh, for example, when you're doing pull requests at GitHub. So go ahead and download Git. Again, for Linux machines, I recommend the apt installation. Once you've installed Git, check the Git version to make sure. If you're not already familiar with using Git from the terminal, uh, you should check out some of these basic online tutorials on using Git, as they'll teach you the basics from cloning, creating branches, publishing your work to the OpenMRS repositories, and etc. etc. Now we're ready to get the OpenMRS source code. We'll need, the clone, we'll, we'll need to clone the OpenMRS core repository to get the source code for OpenMRS core. To do this, go to this GitHub page, which I'll provide a link in the description box below to see the OpenMRS core repo. But before we download this to our local system, we'll need to fork this repo to our own GitHub account. So make sure to sign in with your GitHub account and click the fork button. 
Now choose your username and this will take a few minutes. Once it's done, just go over to the clone button and copy the link. Next, navigate with your file browser to the place where you want to clone the OpenMRS core and open it in terminal. Now you type git clone and paste the link that you copied earlier. This will take some time so I'm just gonna fast forward this and I'll show you the next steps after it's done downloading. So once it's done cloning, just go to the OpenMRS core root directory in your terminal. And the next thing we need to do is to set, to set up the upstream. You can see when I view all the remote repositories, there's only one remote repository which is the origin. And now we're going to add the upstream remote repository. And you can do this by going to the original repository in openmrs slash openmrs core and copy the link from the clone button. Next you'll need to go to your terminal again and type in git remote add upstream and then paste the link that you just copied and hit enter. Now when I view all the remote repositories you can hopefully see the upstream remote repository listed after origin. Next, you'll need to fetch from the upstream to get all the branches from the upstream repository and then just check out the master branch and then you'll need to merge the master branch so you can merge your local OpenMRS core master branch with the master branch from the upstream repository. Make sure you're already up to date with the master branch to move on. Now. Let's set up IntelliJ IDEA ready to develop for OpenMRS. The command I typed in above was actually to install the IntelliJ IDEA IDE on my local machine, which is Ubuntu. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and download and install IDEA for your operating system and make sure to update IDEA to the latest version if you haven't already. So first open IDEA. From here, select Import Project and go to the root of your OpenMRS core. Choose Maven from the project type and check the box where it says Search for Projects Recursively. And then I'll just leave everything to the defaults. So click Next. and next again and in this tab we'll need to add a JDK which is the JDK we installed and I'll just pause this video to quickly find the folder which I installed Java on so I'll be right back okay I'm, I'm back I'll just close this now make sure the Java is 1.8 and click next and then add the project name. Now IDEA will display the project page. What I like about IDEA is that there is a built-in git surface and here you will see IDEA detecting a clone repo or repository. So go ahead and click to configure the unregistered repo and then press OK. Now you will be able to check out to other branches from the remote repository and do other Git operations inside IDEA itself. Processes will be running in the background, so just wait until they're both finished. I'm going to check out a new branch from master like this. And for tutorial purposes, I can name it whatever I want. So I'm just gonna input a random name, like test irrelevant. To build and run this Maven project, what you'll have to do is to go to the run menu and then select the edit configurations. And next, 
you'll, you have to add a new configuration. And I'll name mine the Maven Web App Build like this. For the working directory, choose the little folder icon and choose the web app directory. And finally, in the command line, input this command to run the jetty. Leave everything else in the defaults and then hit apply and OK. To run the core, you'll need to do a clean install first on the root of our MRS core before you run your Maven app build. To do this on IDEA, go to the View menu, Tool Windows, and then Maven Projects. Click on the button where it says Execute Maven Goal, and then type in Clean Install, like this. And this time I also want to skip the test, so I'll input this uh, parameter. And make sure the working directory is in OpenMRS Core, and then click Execute. and make sure the build is successful, go ahead and run the Maven Web App build you just created. Now wait for it to say the started Jetty server. And then now what you have to do is go to your local host with the OpenMRS, like this. And you'll most likely see the initial setup page. So just do the initial setup page. I'm going to choose a simple one. And then here you'll see the root password that you created in MySQL during the MySQL installation. So type that in. And then leave everything else in the defaults. You'll hopefully see the OpenMRS platform running. If you encounter any problems during the setup, you can check out the OpenMRS talk, which I'll provide in the description box below. The last thing I want to show you is the issues page of OpenMRS, the place you want to go to see to get started to contribute. Here you can see all the tickets that have been created for contributors to work on, and these tickets range from the trunk types, which is the OpenMRS core related issues, the RA, which is the reference application related issues, and many many more types. When you scroll down you can see the introductory issues, and it's designed for newbies to get started contributing to OpenMRS right away. When you click on the introductory issues, here you can see a bunch of introductory tickets that were created, so let's have a look at an example introductory issue. Here's an example of a trunk ticket, or an OpenMRS core ticket. So you can see each ticket will have a title, details on the issue, the ticket type, and a short description of the issue. So to work on the ticket, you'll have, you'll first have to sign in with your OpenMRS ID. And if you haven't already created an OpenMRS ID, you can sign up for an ID. And once you do, just log in to the issues page created with Jira. You can see in the yellow notification area, at the top of the page that if you want to create tickets, you have to go to, to help desk, which I'll link to in the des description box below, and explain why you need access. Anyways, to claim the tissue or ticket, just click on the claim issue button, and you will be the designated assignee for this ticket. You will also need to comment to say that you are currently working for this ticket. You can also comment if you need further help or additional instructions and the OpenMRS community will happily help lend you a hand. And finally, you should also join our Telegram and IRC if you haven't already. Their links are in the description box below. Telegram and IRC are great if you need help on a particular ticket fast, or if you want to talk about OpenMRS in general. So this is an end to my video on setting up a development environment. Thank you so much for watching.